<coughs> Hello again. All right. So let's uh, talk now about something else. Let's talk about, uh, well, let's look at this. Let's, let's look at this through the lens of hetero, H-E-T-E-R-O-Zygous, slash uh, carrier, slash hybrid. Okay. So here we have a pedigree, right? Okay, this pedigree is of an X-linked recessive trait. X-linked recessive. Let's review what that means. Remember that X-linked recessive or an X-linked trait. Remember that the sex chromosomes are X and Y. So XX makes female. XY makes male. If you have an X-linked trait, that means I'm just going to re resemble the trait represent the trait using a red dot. Okay, if it's X-linked, that means the trait is linked to the X chromosome. Okay? So it looks something like this, maybe, you know? This would be a heterozygous female. This would be a what I mean a male. You don't have heter you don't have heterozygous X or homozygous X for males because they only have one X. So that would be heterozygous for females, and this would be homozygous for females, right? Okay, you get it. Now, let's look at this pedigree. Here you have a pedigree that looks at an X-linked recessive trait for a lethal disease. This is to get your attention because it's lethal. Okay, right, so here you have a child. This is boy or girl. It's a boy, right? Squares are boys. Generation one. One. Generation two. And generation three. Okay. Now, here we have this individual right here who shows the trait. Showing the trait. If it's an excellent trait, remember, boys are XY. XY. If he is showing the trait, that means he his X chromosome has the trait on it. And you usually find boys showing X-linked traits because they only have one X. They don't have another X to mask it if it's recessive. Now, here's his boy. Where's his papa? Right there. Look at his dad. Is his dad filled in? No, which means his dad must have normal, a normal X chromosome. But, let's look at his mama. If this boy inherited an X, where did he get that X from? Not from his dad, because his dad gave him the Y, making him a boy. His mom gave him that X. Is his mom filled in all the way? No. But, in order for her to have a child that has the trait, she must herself be a carrier. Let's put that on the second X just to show that it, because it's recessive. She's a carrier. He inherited this X from her, giving him the characteristic. Now let's look here. So what can we do? We can fill this in halfway means she's heterozygous. That means she's carrying the allele on her X chromosome. Let's look at her parents. Here's her dad. Is he filled in at all? No. So he has normal XY. Here's her mother. Is she filled in at all? No. But she had a daughter who was carrying it. Which means that she is also a carrier. All right. Look this over a couple times. Make sure it makes sense to you. If you have any questions or need clarification, let me know.